Happy New Year everyone, just wanted to say that before we begin with the video. Hope you guys have a wonderful year and uh, thank you so much for sticking together in this community, in our community for the whole entire 2019. Now this of course is another episode of abusing your wallet is actually pretty fun because today in this video we're gonna be checking the top best assets from 2019 for Unity. Most of these assets are gonna be from the top performing field or like the top sellers but most of them are also my favorites, so just personal favorites. So if I miss your favorite, let me know in the comment section and don't be insulted, don't feel insulted. I know there are so many more amazing assets, but there are only so many that I can include in one single video. We'll take a look at the assets in just a moment, but first, this video is brought to you by Jason Weinman. Jason is an instructor and a developer who's made the incredible Unity Masterclass. The mastery course will teach you everything from the fundamentals and basics of game development all the way to using Unity for your professional projects. You'll start off by building a full 2D game using Unity and focus heavily on C Sharp to get a good grasp on coding. The course will then take you to 3D and even multiplayer. While working on these projects, Jason is going to be showing how to create the fundamentals for each project and one thing I love about Jason's course is that he enables you the option to work along other students and not only that, but he involves one-on-one -on -one interaction between you and himself. You can check out more about Jason's Unity Mastery course through the link in the description. Our link is also set up with a special discount code special to our community, so you will get 60% off the initial price. Alright, so with that being said, get your wallet ready and let's get into it. So the first asset we're going to talk about is called Odin Inspector. Odin is a utilities pack by Devdog, which puts your Unity workflow on steroids, making it easy to build powerful and advanced user-friendly editors for you and your team. With an effortless integration that deploys perfectly into pre-existing workflows, Odin allows you to serialize anything. There are features such as color palettes, dictionaries, powerful lists, Odin editor windows, editor-only mode, input validation, and much more. And now moving on to number two, we have Gaia Pro. Gaia is a terrain and scene generator made by Procedural Worlds. Gaia gives you the ability and flexibility to go fully procedural or fully manual or even somewhere in between and deliver simple, fast and pretty terraforming, texturing, planting and placement using the sample assets or yours as you prefer. Now, as for the Pro in the name, Gaia Pro is a complete rewrite of Gaia 1 and further enhances its power as the all-in-one terrain and scene generation system for Unity that allows you to create stunning mobile, VR and desktop scenes in minutes. While Gaia is a terrain and scene generation system at heart, Gaia saves you time, money and heartache by including many typically expensive assets into one integrated system. You literally can be running around a beautiful environment in minutes with just three clicks. And moving on, at number three, we have Universal Device Preview. Universal Device Preview from Wild Mage Games is an advanced and easy to use tool that gives you an accurate preview of your game for a huge variety of devices to help you adapt your games to them. You can instantly test how your content looks and feels on each of your target devices within the editor to prevent long and tedious iterations and incredibly fast in your game development process. There is support for more than 50 devices, including phone with notches, to really test how your game looks and feels. You can find devices from Apple, Samsung, Google, HTC, Nintendo Switch, and many more. It's probably the biggest part that I hated when it came to came down to working on a mobile game because I had to make sure manually that my game was working well on all screen real estates from all different devices, whereas this pack just kind of eliminates that risk for you. Next up, at number 4 we have Final IK. Final IK is the final inverse kinematic solution for Unity by Root Motion. Final IK is essentially a very complete package for animations. It contains a bunch of features and components that it actually is easiest for you if you just check their asset store page for yourself after this video. But in short, it contains features such as arm and aim IK, leg and limb IK, rotation limits, grounder, interaction system, full body biped IK, and much more. Final IK also works with humanoid, generic, and legacy rigs. 
It's been tested on standalone WebGL, iOS, Android, and all VR platforms, including Oculus Quest. It's been optimized for great performance. It's modular and easily extendable where you can compose your own custom character rigs. And in my opinion, it's, as I said before, it's a very complete package for animation and just setting up IK for your characters. Moving on to number five, we have Easy Save. Now, Easy Save is, well, a complete save and load asset pack made by Moodkai, and I hope I didn't butcher your name as well. <laughs> Pretty obvious to tell what it is from the name, but it's actually surprisingly easy to use. It is compatible with most platforms, including iOS, Android, Windows Store, and many more. It's got fast and lightweight serialization, secure save data with encryption, save and load from the web, cross-platform save data, and just so many more features. The first time I used EasySave, I was actually shocked on how you can just write a couple lines of codes to save and load the game, and then the pack takes care of the rest for you. And at number six, we have Pro Sound Collection. Pro Sound Collection is a massive collection of professionally recorded, edited, and designed sound effects made by Game Master Audio. This pack includes a total of, get this, 8,076 game-ready sound effects. That's three hours and nine minutes of audio, which is just nuts. You can find a bunch of sound categories, including alarms, ambience, beeps, birds, bullets, buttons, cartoon and cinematic, collectibles, comedy, doors, electricity, explosions, and just so many more. It's a whole list of different categories. There's also a list of audio previews on SoundCloud, which you can listen to before you buy the pack. You can find the audio previews in the Asset Store page, which you should visit after watching this video. Moving on to number seven, we have River Audio Material. River Auto Material, also called RAM, no, 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 not that RAM. <laughs> RAM from Nature Manufacture is a tool for generating streams of rivers. In more detail, RAM gives you the ability to create very advanced river and lakes with flow map, river bed shapes, and textures on it automatically. You can simply drag and drop the river material on any mesh, or you can create it by using the advanced spline tool with the profile system and a river, a lake, stream, or even a road will be done for you. In my opinion, RAM is one of the easiest tools to use on the asset store in general. And since I love level design and doing level design, it truly changed the game for me as far as how much time I used to spend on making rivers before this pack. And at number eight, we have the forest environment dynamic nature. Here is one more nature manufacturer asset actually. The forest environment pack is a winner as the best artistic content at the asset store, which was part of the Unity Awards 2019. This pack is a huge library of 100% scanned assets that are carefully optimized at last and use LOD or level of detail. You get a group of shaders which will bring better quality and simplify your workflow if you want to use them that is. You also get a forest environment with a small meadow, artistic content such as bushes, rocks, grass, and tools, and even scripts. It's essentially a very big asset pack with a lot of content in it, and Nature Manufacturer is also known for creating great asset packs, which you can tell by the fact that this was the winner in artistic content in Unity Awards last year. Hopping on to number nine, we have the Polygon Nature Pack. The Polygon Nature Pack is made by Synthi Studios, who are the authors of the large and amazing series of asset packs for Unity called Polygon. This pack in particular is a low poly asset pack of trees, plants, terrain, rocks, props, and FX assets to add to your existing polygonal style game. This pack also comes with a detailed set of polygon style terrain textures that have clean tiling normal maps. In this pack, you'll be able to find animated plants and trees, custom stylized water shader, triplanar rock shader for instant moss and snow coverage, awesome particle effects including butterflies, falling leaves, grass blowing, stylized sun rays, fireflies, and more. Moving on to number 10, we have Amplify Imposters. One of my favorites so far, Amplify Imposters by Amplify Creations is a pack for creating so-called imposters of your assets. This helps you optimize your projects with ease by using next generation billboard imposters. 
Imposters are essentially camera-facing quads or simple polygonal shapes that replace complex geometry by rendering a fake 3D representation of the original object. Imposters can be moved, rotated, scaled, receive and cast shadows, intersect other objects or imposters, and can be used with LOD Group or any third-party LOD system. Making full use of GPU-based instancing, imposters provide spherical and octahedron imposter techniques, the latter being capable of performing smart transitions between different views. There are features such as Lightweight RP, HDRP, and URP, Universal Render Pipeline, which is the new Lightweight Render Pipeline, support, so it supports all three of them, one-click baking, billboard shape editor, smart blending between scenes, hardware instancing, and just so many more features. And number 11, we have Peak. Peak is a utilities pack made by Ludic. It takes the Unity editor to the next level with a collection of tools designed to improve your workflow. There are features such as toolbars, which lets you inspect game objects, components, and materials. Creator, where you can create new game objects directly within the scene, and just so many more features. Peak is, in general, just very convenient to use. It truly enhances your workflow, and there are many features you get for a pack of such relevant pricing. On top of that, whenever I work on a new project in Unity, I feel like Peak has become like a part of the natural workflow of Unity, so it's, it's almost like an essential for me at this point. Moving on, at number 12, we have Real IV2. Real IV2 is made by Procedural Worlds, and it's a procedural IV and climbing plant generator for Unity that allows you to create stunning realistic climbing vegetation. Real IV generates IV and climbing plants using the colliders in your scene as a base on which to grow, climb, and adapt, and can be used to create amazing growth animations at runtime, which is also really fun to watch on YouTube. <laughs> you can create your plants either at design time, runtime, or a combination of both in which you pre-bake your IV in editor and then grow it over time in your game. There are features such as an IV painting system, procedural growth system, high quality presets, design time and runtime support, and a lot more. It's time now that we move on to number 13, where we have the Anti-Cheat Toolkit Pack. Anti-Cheat Toolkit is made by CodeStage, and it's here to add some extra pain to folks who cheat, hack, and crack something in your game. It includes various anti-cheat tricks and techniques in one place, easy to use with full sources, detailed docs, and corner cases care. Some common features are that it protects variables in memory, protects and extends player prefs, generates build code signature, detects speed hacks, time cheating, three common types of wall hacks, and foreign managed assemblies. It's a really cool pack that eliminates the pain you would normally have to go through implementing a system of your own for anti-cheat. At number 14, we have the RPG Character Mechanim Animation Pack. RPG Animation Pack is made by Explosive and it has 1060 polished and professional animations with included Xbox 360 gamepad compatibility, physics-based character controller, and it is ready to just drag and drop into your game out of the box. This pack supports 16 different fighting styles and weapon types with included weapon models, character model, and set models. There are animations for two and one-handed sword, two-handed axe, spear, bow, and crossbows, staff, dagger, thrown objects, and just so much more. We are sadly getting close to the end here, but at number 15 we have the low poly animated animals. Low poly animated animals is a pack made by Poly Perfect. This pack is a high-quality rigged low-poly animals with amazing animations, stunning demo scenes, multiple textures, sounds, and a wonder script. You can just drag and drop the animals with the wonder script attached into your scenes as lifeful animals that will navigate around. There are over 30 animal textures, more than 40 unique sounds, illustrated environment textures, ground, grass, and coral textures, mechanism support, and low-poly nature elements. Hopping on over to number 16, we have Aura 2. Aura 2 is a volumetric lighting and fog solution made by Rafael Ernalston. It simulates the illumination of the microparticles that are present in the environment, but too small to be visible to the eye or the camera. 
R02 brings state-of-the-art volumetric lighting system to Unity, which is actually the same rendering technique that is used in some of the latest high-end games such as Tomb Raider, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Days Gone, Assassin's Creed, and more. R02 supports all types of light, has cookie support, and <laughs> no, not that cookie, control volumes with options such as density injection, multiple camera support, real-time preview and editor, stereo and VR support, and just so much more. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, 17. <laughs> I forgot the number. At number 17, we have Obby Cloth. Obby Cloth by Virtual Method is an advanced cloth simulator for Unity that uses particle physics to deliver high quality, flexible, and easy to use cloth simulation. It supports Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, and Obby Cloth features a unified solution for character clothing with regular and terrible cloth. There is two-way rigid body interaction, modular solver that only uses the constraints your cloth needs, which saves you performance, per module adjustable solver iteration count, cloth proxies, balloon physics, and much more. Cloths are now also attachable to rigid bodies and can collide with itself and other cloth pieces. It's essentially what I always wanted when working on games where I'd have real-time cloth simulation. So this actually is really, really feature rich now and looks super good. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share like 17 asset packs that I've been using the most in 2019, but also some of them I haven't been actually using as much as I wanted to, and some of them are actually new to me, but they were the top sellers and top performers, so I just wanted to share them with you so you have an idea. Let me know if you guys want me to do the same thing, the same format of this video, but for free assets only, so I can cover only free top performing assets from 2019, but let me know in the comment section what you think of that idea. But yeah, once again, I just wanted to thank you for sticking together as a community in 2019, and I hope to not only grow the community further, but also improve the community further in 2020. Speaking of community, you should join our Discord server, which is the community server for this channel, but it's actually called Psyku's Poly Realm, which means that it is Psyku related, but also Poly Realm as in terms of game development server. And it's just a fun bunch of people, so join us by going to the link in the description or by going to discord.gg forward slash Holy round. All right, with that being said, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash like if you did and hit subscribe for more. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comment section.